Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be bringing this makeup tutorial for you guys. I created this holiday um, look since the holidays are upon us. I'm very excited for the holidays and I know that with the holidays coming up, we love all that glitter and all that jazz and all those sparkles. So I really did try to achieve that um, when I did this look. I did change the lip color um, in my Instagram photo that I put up yesterday, I had a Nika K True Matte Color Clairvoyant. So, and it was a little darker, it was a little deeper, but I did choose to go with the Revlon um, Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. And don't forget to like this video to show some support for your homegirl. Ow. <laughs> Comment down below if you guys want to see any other looks, any holiday looks that you guys have in mind that you guys want me to create. Definitely write that down in the comments. I would love to see that. And besides that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Anyways, I love you guys and thanks for watching. Bye. Hey guys, so we're going to begin by priming our eyelids, which is super important. I'm going to be using the Smashbox Studio Skin Concealer in medium, which is awesome. Then I'm going to take the Naked Ultimate Basics Palette from Urban Decay and I'm going to use the color Commando and I'm going to put that all over my lid to pretty much just set that concealer in place. Um, but you could use any setting powder or any other eyeshadow that you have. Then I'm going to take Faith. This is like a mid-tone brown and I'm going to use that in my crease as a transition, transition shade. And that's going to help blend all of the colors that we put on top seamlessly because you guys it's so important like so important to blend so I'm gonna take the primer potion in sin I was gonna say Eden but no it's sin and I'm going to put that all over my lid then we're gonna take the Morphe 35O palette and if you have this palette you don't need the ultimate basics palette but I'm gonna take these two shades and that is going to be my shades I'm gonna put on top of the eyelid and I'm gonna pack that on until I get the intensity that I want but like I said if you guys have the 35O palette from Morphe you definitely don't need the ultimate basics palette I just wanted to use it because I got it and I wanted to put it to use Then I'm taking a fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend the edge um, so we don't have any harsh lines and it's so important guys, blending is like your best friend. Then I'm going to go back in with Faith and I'm going to get even a fluffier brush and I'm just going to blend some more and I'm just going to diffuse any harsh lines, make sure everything is seamless. Then I'm going to take this warm brown and I'm going to concentrate that on my crease. I am taking it very lightly and like gradually building up just because you never want to go in with so much product. You always want to slowly build up the intensity and blend of course like always blending blend blend blend. But yeah, I'm just going simply going back and forth to back and forth on um, building the intensity and blending. It's super important, and that's how you get like the best smoky eye. Then I'm gonna take that dark neutral brown, and I'm just going to add some more intensity. I realized that after um, building the intensity on the first color, it wasn't as dark as I wanted it to be. So I just took a darker brown and I built the, built up the intensity on that one and I totally love the way it came out. Like, it was perfect. And of course, I'm just going to be going back and forth on packing the color and blending. Now for the exciting part. So I'm going to be taking two pigments, one from NYX which is more warm toned and then one from e.l.f. which is more taupey. Um, I went in with the e.l.f. Uh, pigment first and it was just so beautiful. Like as I was packing it on I was like oh my god this is exactly what I wanted and like I'm achieving every part of it. So yeah. Then I'm gonna go in with the NYX pigment which just totally changed up the look. It made it more warm, it made it more golden, it made it more like chocolate, chocolatey and it was just so pretty. And I am just blending the edge on the crease and on the outer corner just because I don't want any harsh lines. I'm very like 
nitpicky about blending it's so important to me it's like crucial to a makeup look any makeup look and I am just building up the intensity on the outer corner and blending as always then I'm going to take the shade Blow from the Naked Basics palette. I'm going to use that to highlight my inner corner and my brow bone. And then I'm going to use the eyeliner from Lord & Berry. This one smudges really easily and I love the formula of it. It's so long wearing, which is why I use it. But you can use anything that you have. Then I'm going to take a flat shader brush from Sigma just to smoke that out and diffuse the liner. Then I'm going to tight line the upper lash line and um, run that liner on my lower lash line as well. This is definitely going to give more of a dramatic look. You definitely don't have to do this step if you don't like to put um, black eyeliner in your waterline, but yeah. And then we are going to basically repeat everything that we did on the top on the bottom of the lower lash line and I never really put like the shimmer part on the inner corner of my lower lash line I usually just always go in with the mattes to really blow out and smoke out that lower lash line and I honestly love that technique but you definitely could do um, what you will and what you want because makeup is makeup and I love it and it's so fun and you could easily wipe it away and let's never take it too seriously guys it's always supposed to be fun and then I'm taking my buxom Great Lash Mascara, OMG guys, I am in love with this mascara, it like is amazing, it does amazing things to my lower lash line and to like my lashes in general, They're, they make them look fake, like they make them look like falsies, which is what I love, like I love when mascaras make your lashes look like falsies, hashtag makeup goals. Then I'm going to bronze up the skin. I'm basically finishing up the skin now and I'm going to bronze up the skin um, using an e.l.f. duo blush and bronzer set that I have and I'm just going to warm up the skin and then yeah I'm going to warm that bad boy up just because I love a lot of bronzer. Using the same duo that I used to bronze up my skin I'm going to use that blush and just smile and pack it on guys I love blush like I think blush completes a look sometimes you know what I mean like you can never go wrong with blush oh it's blush I love it then I am going to highlight I use my um, Becca champagne pop but <laughs> it's shattered so I couldn't show you guys oh my god but look at that highlight girl highlight on fleek Ow. I'm having way too much fun with this but yeah I'm just gonna highlight the high points of my face so we can look like a glowing beautiful star and then I'm gonna use a very old lip liner and it's like not old but I've had it for so long and it's so tiny it's from NYX and it's called um deep purple I honestly don't think they make it anymore guys like I've been trying so hard to look for that lip liner again because it's just so perfect like I love the color but I could never find it anywhere. So if you guys know where I could replenish this lip liner, please let me know. Leave it in the comments below. But yeah, I'm basically going to line my lips and fill them in. And then I'm going to go in with a new obsession of mine. It's the matte um, liquid lipsticks from Revlon. These really aren't matte like they claim to be. Like it, set, it sets down and it dries down, but not completely. Like it does have a slip and it does have a gloss to it um, so if you guys don't like liquid lipsticks like that um, then you guys won't like this lipstick as much but I do love the wear of the formula like it's so like suit like I was gonna say soothing it's so smooth and it's very like comforting like on the lips it's not too dry but yeah that is the completed look I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial please don't forget to like subscribe and share the video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah and can't wait to see you guys in the new year.